Welcome to Crimson Guitars and welcome to a bit of fun. I'm here on the weekend because I am about to make a god-awful stink. And it could be quite fun. I have a... this is a solid copper-topped guitar and she's also got a distressed copper leaf back, neck, fretboard, etc. Uh, and copper in the fretboard. And I want to... I want to try and turn this green ish and uh, well let's go play with some stinky 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 stuff all right i'm leaving my studio because uh, while i am here on my own uh, i still don't want it in my room i've made these little um paint triangles so they're gonna hold Hold the guitar up just off the uh, just off the level of the box, and we'll see see what happens. Essentially, this uh, this is an old twin neck guitar case. It's got this rubber sealant around the edge, and I'm hoping that's going to make a difference to uh, uh, how much uh, of the ammonia leaves. So. Ammonia solution, and I'm going to be pouring it into a couple of uh, just uh, yeah spray can tops, and then closing this off and seeing what happens. But first of all, I have uh, I've been sent a couple of uh, these new ellipse masks to try out, <laughs> and. Uh, uh, I've, I've been using the dust one quite recently and uh, it's really comfortable and it fits and all that jazz so I interesting I thought what the hell I'm gonna go the whole hog and use this big full beastie how interesting to uh, I don't know why it's got these little covers on all the filters yeah, I'm going to cover my face in this in a second after I've found some gloves. And uh, let's see if it gets that smell out. I do hope Gina doesn't get too angry with me. Well, <laughs> if this smell stays in her stockroom, I will be in trouble. Okay. So I have gloves, I have a mask, which actually, seems to be fitting around my beard as well, which is a, a bonus. I don't know how people do anything dangerous re that require masks when they have a full faced beardy thing. All right. Let's have some fun. Okay, so I'm going to do this as quickly as I can. Ammonia smells like cat's wee. Okay, I can't currently smell it, but my eyeballs feel like they're melting. Okay. Oh my god. One there. One there. There's one last thing I want to do. I want to put some water. That's not really working. Oh no. Damn it. My eyes are open. Okay, what I had planned was to have some water there, but it, I didn't really think about this. I'm closing this now, and we'll come back later. Okay. 
So I've spent the day playing around with some of our uh, production instruments, which has uh, been fun. Cameras. But, uh, let's see, I'm gonna put my mask on now. It hasn't, I put an extra container inside because it didn't seem to be doing much fast. And then I've left it for the last three or four hours. I'm gonna put my mask on there. And let's see. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I'm not going to be able to be here for very long. Essentially, the patina is doing my burst. Ha! <laughs> okay, excellent. And it doesn't really seem to be affecting the... Oh, God, my eyes. All right, oh, I'm closing this. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Hello, hi, how are you? All right, I'm going to, I'm going to leave that over the weekend. I think what I'll do is I'll uh, take two of the containers out and uh, leave it in over the weekend and uh, reconvene uh, in a couple of days. And hopefully the, that middle section will be really, really green. Or maybe, I'm going to go look at it again, maybe I'll just leave it as is and see. I'm not particularly decisive this afternoon, am I? Anyway, uh, I'll be back in a second. Cheers. Right, I've come back in after the weekend and Jean is in and I'm in trouble because this smells oh, it's nowhere near as effective that's not as effective as I thought it was going to be it hasn't actually done much more okay my eyeballs are melting all right I'm gonna tidy this up so here we go. I I was having dreams of it being this green colour throughout, but uh, I'm not unhappy. The inlays have been well affected. The side dots you can't really see in this light. Uh, I'm going to have to brighten those up and fix that now. Oh, that's cool. It turned blue in there. So the copper on the inside, which was uh, painstakingly installed, still looks coppery. Look at that. So, uh, yeah. I'm really happy. One, one slight issue, which I'm going to have to fix, is uh, the glue has uh, delaminated there, which surprises me. But, uh, yeah. There's no other issues anywhere else. Frankly, I'm really, really happy. I'm going to engrave around the logo again, just the uh, the outline of the lettering, and let's have a look at the back. Now, the other thing that ammonia does is it darkens wood down. So you will have noticed that the fretboard itself was much darker than before, and uh, yeah. Here we are. This this is really awesome. So there we have it. Uh, quite frankly, it stinks. I'm going to go hang it in a spray booth now or, or something. Get it out of the workshop for a couple of days. 
uh, before uh, before I move forward. Thanks for watching. <laughs>